Okay, so I'm going to try out a new series. Sharing true stories from people is something that I've genuinely always wanted to do, but I was never sure how to go about it in a way that makes it well, entertaining for the viewer, but also values your guys' time. I'm not saying I've found the answer, but I think videos like this can actually help people who are going through similar experiences. I'm no therapist like some of y'all call me in the comment section, but I do know that sometimes all someone really needs is not the answer to their problems, but just someone they can relate to so that they feel like they're not alone. So that's the intent behind this series, and for this first episode, I'm going to be reading people's biggest life regret. Before I start reading these depressing stories, I want to mention that if you have your own story you want me to tell, feel free to email it to me, and if it's interesting enough, I might put it in a future video. So without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy, try not to cry. This is story one. I regret that I allowed other people to control my life, whether it was me not doing what I should have done or always wanted to do because of fear of someone's disapproval, or allowing other people to hold me back from doing better and greater things. I've had numerous people in my life sabotage my efforts, whether purposefully or indirectly. First it being my own parents not helping me get a leg up on things, so I had to work extra hard and just rely on sheer luck to get ahead. I've allowed certain relationships including friendships, to take advantage of me or make me feel inferior. Even when I was with my wealthy ex-fiancé of 10 years, he made things easy financially, but I allowed him to control me, which stunned my growth a lot. I became dangerously complacent and depressed. I wasted a lot of time and opportunities that I'm regretting and paying the price for now. I can't blame it all on them, it was my fault for being so easily influenced and reliant on their approval. But but words to the wise, don't ever allow other people to hold you back in life. If someone doesn't want you to succeed, maybe they are not right to be around. We should have people around us that inspire us, not hinder us. My biggest regret is not choosing someone who I could have had something strong and long term with. It was a time in my life where for the first time, I had the attention of three different women. This came after a time where I had to fight to get the attention of one. For one of them, we decided to be friends, which was probably the right choice, but I had the opportunity to date the other two. One was my age, my year, and someone who I had an immense amount of fun with. She was near perfect, and I screwed not only that relationship, but that friendship ship too. I'm not saying it would have worked perfectly, I'm not saying we'd even be together today, but if I could go back in time to any point in my life, it would be when I made the choice not to date her, but to date number three who had graduated a year prior, as I was a sophomore at the time. I ended up going out with her for a summer before she moved hours and states away. The other girl, the one who I royally screw things with, ended up dating a friend of hers from home, and to my knowledge, is still with him. Looking back, it seems that started me on a string of bad choices and just general unhappiness with relationships. My next relationship was with a generally unhappy woman who had problems with everybody, but it was never her fault. I fell hard for someone 12 hours away, and when that didn't work out, it spiraled me into an even deeper goal which I am now climbing out of. I dated someone who was perfectly nice, but I never loved so it slowly fell apart. And most recently, I dated someone who seemed perfectly nice, but was a whole bunch of old crazy in the end. Maybe there isn't someone for everyone. Maybe I missed the someone who was for me. Or maybe, just maybe, there is someone else out there for me. I know this turned into a big speech that reads like a woe is me, but it was helpful to type it all out. Sometimes venting to strangers on the internet is the easiest thing because they're out of the equation. They're perfectly impartial, and some of them may have gone through the same thing and can help. My biggest regret is not sitting with my grandmother the last time I saw her. She was in hospice care and had dementia. I was in the Navy and flew across the country to see her on emergency leave. I went to see her the first day. I was there and she was sleeping. Instead of staying with her, I spoke to the nurses about how she was doing. I got a cold the next day and wasn't allowed to see her for the rest of my time there. I flew back to my duty station, unsure if I would see her again. I didn't. She died in her sleep a week later. I have never regretted anything in life, 
Literally nothing. Not cheating on my ex-husband, not telling him I wanted a divorce, not anything. Until she died and I realized I was too afraid to sit with her. That is my only regret. The thing that makes it worse is that she would be upset that I was too weak to stay. I've said this in a previous video that I personally believe there is really nothing to regret in life. Obviously, we all have those moments that make us cringe and think, why did I do that? But just think about it. At the time the decision was made, you genuinely felt like it was a good decision. So if you didn't know any better at the time, doesn't the regret do nothing but help you learn for the future? That's just my two cents on the whole matter, but feel free to let me know what you think in the comments section. Like I said, this is a new series I'm trying out, so if you enjoyed, please let me know by liking the video, and I'll consider making more. Hopefully this video was able to make your guys' day a little bit better. My name is Christian, don't forget to express yourself, and have a great one.